This is Bumper to Bumper TV. When you have a successful platform, why not build on it? Following that kind of thinking, Hyundai is getting the most from the compact Elantra with Coupe and GT version. Operating on different wheelbases, the two new entries are an attempt to make the Elantra a more global vehicle. A look at the Coupe edition and one of the more obvious details is the visual linkage to the sedan and the larger Sonata's fluidic sculpture design language. At an overall length of 178 inches, the Coupe is closer to a midsize than a compact. The interior has a distinct center stack design and layout that keys in on style and form, in keeping with the desired image for the vehicle. However, most of the surfaces are still pretty rigid. The GT comes in a five-door configuration that is popular in Europe. Its overall length is nearly 169 inches, and with a flat roofline, it can handle up to 23 cubic feet of cargo behind the rear seat, while the coupe can only offer 14 cubic feet of cargo space. Both platforms share a common and familiar drivetrain using the 1.8 liter inline four-cylinder engine that generates 148 horsepower and 131 foot-pounds of torque. We found in a day of driving through the Texas Hill Country that manually walking the Elantra through a six-speed automatic transmission delivered the best performance. If not, the car is set up to shift gears around 2200 RPM when the sweet spot for performance is closer to 4200. But in exchange, it delivers very good fuel economy numbers when allowed to operate on its own. The GT does come with some technology upgrades, like a rear-view camera that is hidden beneath the Hyundai badge. A feature we liked was the selectable steering system. The cars use an electric power steering system, and the GT is the only one with an option to change the response setting. Comfort has more slag in it. It tightens up a little bit, but not much. And then Sport, firmer, yeah, much firmer. This is a feature that can work very well across the rest of the Elantra lineup. Such a move might solidify the nameplate for the Elantra, which now comes in three distinct models with two trim levels and prevent confusion over which car offers which features. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.